Welcome back to Midwest Magnum. I'm Kurt. I'm Wes. Uh, last, what, three, four videos ago, we did the Canic TTI Combat. Absolutely loved it. We loved the Stoger so much, we figured we'd give the Stoger Combat a chance. So today we're going to put this through some tests and see what we think of it. Can't wait. My first round's through the Stoger. I like it. Trigger is definitely a little heavier, but very smooth. First impressions? Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, that gets really hot. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms, and they are awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. Stoger STR9S Combat Semi-Auto Pistol is a feature-rich, competition-ready handgun. The slide features front and rear cock insertions, three-dot adjustable fiber optic sights, a loaded chamber indicator, and features an optics cut. The texture grip is ergonomic and has three interchangeable back straps, so you can find that perfect fit. A removable magazine well allows for rapid mag changes. A Picatinny accessory rail is ready for light or laser. The barrel is also threaded for use with a suppressor or compensator. The STR9 Combat is ready for it all right out of the box. The trigger is smooth and consistent, although a little heavy at 5.5 pounds. We verified the sights aligned from the factory and the STR9 Combat is very accurate. It's a reliable handgun. Not a single malfunction in the first thousand rounds. And it's well balanced and lightweight. It's great ergonomics and feels comfortable. It did not disappoint at all. It is a well balanced, low recoil, reliable handgun. The fantastic three dot fiber optic sights make it very easy to acquire quickly. It seems reliable and easy to maintain as field dressing was very easy. Our first impressions were very positive with this handgun and we look forward to shooting it more. This is a polymer framed, striker fired, semi-automatic nine millimeter. It weighs 28 ounces. The barrel is 4.67 inches and the overall length is 7.94 inches. Um, three fiber optic sights. Now, as everybody that's watched this channel knows, I hate sights, my eyes are bad. These are the first sights I absolutely love. What I don't love about it is they're so they're elevated. So when I go from this gun to another gun, it's taking me time to adjust um, because of my bad eyes. If you have good eyes, you're going to be able to do that easily. I have to reaculate my sight to that. So even uh, with good eyes switching from that to another, there's definitely, uh, you definitely notice it. Yeah. But I mean, as far as when you're just shooting that, I mean, the sights are a little higher than I like. They're suppressor sights, but. Oh. Damn, they're good sights. They're the best sights that I've come across. Um, if you can see, these sights uh, are absolutely fantastic. It does have a reversible mag release. Um, it also is optic ready, comes with four plates. It comes with three back straps, a small, medium, and large. I mean, for a Stoger, like the first one I got, 
cardboard box. You know, you get what you pay for. This still came in a cardboard box, but it came with a lot more accessories to to adapt it to exactly how you want it. So, mm -hmm. um, it, it's a it's a really nice gun. What was your first impressions on this? Uh, first impressions, I think it shot really well. I love the sights, other than being a little bit higher than I liked, but. I mean, it's threaded barrel, so there's suppressor sights. Uh, we've been doing so much canic stuff lately. We got a little spoiled by the trigger, so the trigger's not bad by any means, but it is a little bit stiffer. Um, yep. If that's the correct terminology. Well, <laughs> they say that the trigger is 5.5 pounds. Let's see what we get here. 5.2. Five four. Five two. So it's right around five and a half pounds. Yeah, know. which isn't bad. I mean it's no. not bad at all. But like Wes said, coming from those canics, um, you'll see in our next video when we compare the two, you when you pick up the Stoger and then go to the Canic. You accident sometimes you accidentally the, the can it goes off before you're expecting it to go yeah. off. Well, my bad. Because that one pound of, of trigger pressure makes a huge difference. Yeah. When you're but, going back and forth like that, it definitely the but you don't really it's such a smooth trigger, unlike the regular Stoger that took us about five hundred rounds to break in. Um this seemed to break in right away. As of tonight between the first night I got it and as of tonight, I probably have a thousand rounds through this already. And it felt the same from the first pull to the last. So mm -hmm. it, it, it seemed to be better. It's a nice smooth trigger. Yeah. It's just a little bit heavier. It's got that Stoger feel, which is really nice. Um, it's got a good grip. You know, yeah, it's, it just feels really nice, really comfortable. Stoger supposedly spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on the geom the geometry of this gun so they claim that when you fire it the recoil comes straight back and not up i can't say whether or not i really felt that uh it, it the recoil is not bad no it's not bad it's at all it's very manageable but for them to claim you know this is cutting edge and the recoil comes back it, it wasn't significantly different enough that i was like holy crap that's awesome i didn't feel it no, I didn't notice much as far as that goes. Um, it did definitely felt like it had a little bit more recoil than some of the other ones we've been shooting yep. lately, um, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I like the fact that it's 20 plus one and it comes with three magazines. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But Flared magwell. Yep. Yeah. And that that's the biggest difference. So um, for me, with, with my big hands, it gives me a nice base down here and really feels comfortable when I hold this. So yeah, it does have good grip. And I well, that means that's that makes a huge difference. The Stoger makes really good guns, especially yeah. for the price point. Yep. I think if I could switch, keep keep those sights as far as the fiber optics, and put a lower profile. Yep. That would be awesome. I think that would be ideal in my Absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. One thing I will say about this that was a lot different than the other ones. And I don't know if it's because it's 500 degrees out here today, but this got like, yeah. it got so hot you couldn't even touch it. Ooh, that gets really hot. We did a lot of rounds we pretty did, quick. We did, we did. I mean, we were going mag after mag. Well, we did, we had the eight boxes right off the top. So right there, that's 400. Right. See the math? Um, that was amazing. Yeah, not even using a calculator. <laughs> but I remember, I mean, I put my hand down on that, and I was like, holy <laughs> crap. It's, I've never had a, a um, upper get that hot. Like, I mean, you if you had kept your fingers on there, you would have burned them. Like, bur burned It was them almost bad. as hot as the steel gets after I'm done shooting at the target. What's the matter, Wes? Well, I hit it too many times and knocked it over. And now I got to try to do it myself because you're behind the camera. <laughs> that must be a curse to be that dead on. It, it's cross I got a bear. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's a great gun. It has, yeah. it did not let us down. Um, I was worried with the Stoger, how much that grew on us that I'd be like, Oh, I'm not sure I like this. It's automatically up there with one of some of my favorite guns. Yeah. Time will tell no malfunctions, no misfeeds. Um, it, it functioned flawlessly. So Stoger did another great job on this one. Um, I, I'm happy with it. Very happy. Agreed. I'm happy you bought it also. Yeah. So I have to keep an eye on this now, now that I know Wes was looking at them. So if you haven't done so, please hit the like, <laughs> hit the alert button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we have about 10% of our viewers that are subscribed. It would really help us out and help us keep the channel going. Uh, and we really appreciate, you know, everything, every watching our videos, the comments, the likes. And so check back probably next week. Um, we've gotten back into schedule a little bit. So hopefully next week we'll have the comparison between the Stoger combat and the TTI combat and see what significant differences are, if any. Yeah, that'll be a good comparison. Yep. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And by the way, that logo right there, you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there, that one. Go ahead, click it.